Well, it's the end of the year, and I know like 30% of all charitable giving happens in the month of December. you got to get those tax breaks in. Me, I've got... Uh, yeah, I'm I'm giving to the Gary Rivers I Need a New Car Fund, so I won't be giving anywhere else. But I know there are many of you who do give to charity, and Joe Mastriano is on the phone with us this morning to talk about some pitfalls you might get into. Be careful when you give gifts, right? Absolutely. The IRS is really cracking down right now. Gifts over $500 need, check this out, need independent appraisals. You've got to file a form 8283 with your return and on it you the form has to be given to an independent appraisal not the charity you give the item to for over five hundred dollars and they have to sign off on it what's uh, an independent value. appraiser i mean you have a tax uh, audit, uh, uh, um, attorney or somebody no somebody dealing with that type of property somebody that deals in in that type of you know, whatever you're giving. If you give an antiques, then you get an antique appraiser. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So it depends. And speaking, and speaking of that car, it, it, it's actually ridiculous because part of this statement is that the people you, let's say you donated your car. Right. I gave a car to the battered women's shelter once, and I didn't realize this. This was a number of years ago. But now the people you give it to have to sign off on this form also saying that if they sell the item within three years, that they have to fill out another form to the IRS reporting the sale. And the purpose of that, and also give you a copy, the purpose of that is let's say the vehicle's worth $1,500. Uh-huh. If you're hungry for money and they sell it for 600 the IRS will change your deduction down to the six hundred dollars. Oh, for crying out loud! What a nightmare that could be for your taxes. Oh, so, absolutely. So you'd have to go back and redo your taxes from the year before. Well, no, no. If they, I'm sure a lot of them just get let go, but they can send you an adjustment letter, no. and they'll tell you that they've adjusted your return, and so now send me more money. You know. All right. So when you're making gifts like cars or stocks, is that one of those red flag donations that you you, you almost don't want to give those because the IRS will come after you if, or at least double check it? Well, there's no more red flag donations because you've got to report it on this form. Right. Now, what, what a red flag might be, let's say you give to public radio and you get that $20 CD on weight loss or something. You have to subtra- you have to subtract that. I just want those guitar and piano lessons. That's all I would give to it for. Oh, but go ahead. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> but there is a freebie with stocks. And, yeah. And, um, if you hold stock more than a year and the value went up, mm-hmm. if you sell it, you're going to have to pay capital gains tax on that increase in value, and then you'll get your charitable donation for the amount you gave. But if you just directly give the stock, the IRS will let you out of the capital gains tax on it. Wow. So there's a freebie for you. Yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow. You, you, you kind of look for those little loopholes, don't you? I mean, that's the whole purpose of trying to get tax breaks anyway. Is Well, it, as you said, I mean, it, it, it's nice to, to give to charity, and, and it's a great feeling. Give your services, then you don't have to worry about valuation. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. The, also. Well, the value thing. Yeah, it just. Uh, you can't deduct the value of your services, so yeah, it, it comes from the heart. So right, well, that's a good want. point. So if I volunteer my time and I can bill them and then take the bill off, is that possible? I could do that. Oh no, no, no. You can't deduct. But if you use your vehicle, you you can deduct mileage. Wow. For the charitable use of your vehicle. And then you won't have to fill out this form. <laughs> nice. Oh, my. Well, that's why you get uh, attorneys and you get tax specialists to work on your taxes each year, because it's gotten crazy like this. Yeah, absolutely, and I highly recommend that. I'm always telling people stay away from these so-called IRS rep firms, these quickie refund tax yeah. services, 
Because if you don't document with detail, I mean, sure, you have to know the law, right. but you've got to hire a, an attorney or a CPA that's licensed by the state because if we do anything wrong, especially CPAs, our state board will, will attack us like, like crazy, worse than the IRS. Got it. Google Killer IRS. I have a lot of free, valuable information on my blog. All right, we'll do that. Thank you so much.